old and simply ways as going to flat water into flat water canoeing. Now, in that time, Mark has achieved so much, including being the national champion for the under 12 three times in 2002, 3, and 4. In 2007, he became national champion for under 14s, a title which he continued to hold until the following year. He then moved on to become the national champion for under 16s, K2 500 metres, and K4 1000 metres. And for those of you like me who don't quite understand what that is, K1 is one man in the boat, K2 is two men in the boat, and K4 is four men in the boat. He's also achieved bronze in K2 at 1,000 metres and K1 in 500 metres. Now, since 2008, Mark has been picked to be included in a world-class programme and was chosen to race for Great Britain in a sprint race in France and a marathon race in Belgium. Last year, he was picked to take part in the Olympic hopes regatta in the Czech Republic. This year, he has raced in the International Par de Calais, gaining good results once again, and in September, Mark again travelled to the Czech Republic for the Olympic Hopes, this time racing in the under-17 men's, achieving sixth place in the 200 metre race. He's also gone on to achieve two gold, one silver, and two bronze medals in the Sprint under 18s National Championships. Mark currently trains at Gaby Canoe Club, where he's a member and attends Our Lady and St. Chad Sports College in Wolverhampton. He is a self-motivated young man and follows weekly training schedules and plans that are sent directly from London. Mark's training takes priority and his strict schedule leaves little room for his social life. He is 100% committed to the cause. He's recently been told that he has been awarded a talented athlete sports scholarship. This award is only actually given to a few individuals each year and will mean Mark has the opportunity to work with exceptionally experienced sports persons, psychologists, physios, nutritionists and conditioning coaches, which will all benefit his studies and training immensely. He has achieved numerous medals and trophies and for all his hard work and achievements, of which very few people know about outside the canoeing community. Tim Brabant won gold at the last Olympics, and this is Mark's ambition for the future. In recognition of all Mark's achievements and hard work, we have decided at 107.7 The Wall that there is no one more deserving the Achievement in Sports 2010 Award. Please join me in welcoming Mark Pye on stage.